Okay, so I'm in Eclipse now, and I want to install eGit. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to switch back into my browser and search for eGit. Okay, and I'm going to go over here, the very first link, and let me just go down a bit. Uh, so this is download link over here. Click over there, and what I want to do is I want to copy this URL. So I'm going to copy um, the Indigo P2 repository. So I'm going to select this one over here. You can also do this one as well. Either way, um, you can select this one or that one. Um, you can copy the link address or copy what I just, either way. And I'm going to go into Eclipse. I'm going to go to Help and then install new software. Now you might see nothing here. That's okay. We'll change that. We'll add a site. Say add and we're gonna see we paste this in. And we'll just say the uh, eclipse release site. And you should see something that looks like this. Should look like this. Oops. And we'll click OK. Yeah, it's going to take a little bit of time, but um, there we go. Alright, so we're going to scroll down a bit to collaboration. We'll expand this thing out. And we're going to go down yet again. And we're going to search for the select eGit, just eGit by itself, nothing else. We don't need the myelin or anything else. We just all we need is Eclipse eGit. So select that one, and then say next. And then we just say next again. We'll agree to the license and finish. And it'll ask us to restart. We'll just say restart now. And it's now we're back into our workbench. Um, and this time we get the welcome screen yet again, and we see this little Git link. Um, you can select this. In fact, in fact, if we go here and click on this guy, uh, it takes us directly to the user guide, um, which is actually a useful a useful link here. Um, let me just pull that up really quick. That the um, um, I think if you look for the if you just Google for this uh, Eclipse or so you get user guide and right click on that um, or or not. Okay, well if you search for you get user guide, you'll get to this page easily enough. But um, I'm gonna I'm gonna close out of this welcome screen here, and that'll take us into our workspace. So now we have Eclipse eGit installed. 